like all the all the faiths, right? Doesn't matter which faith you are. What what does it mean to be Muslim, right? The whole idea of Muslim is just God, one God. That's it. Yeah. It's not about like a particular culture and so on. Yeah. If you're Christian, if you believe in one God, you are technically technically speaking Muslim. If you're Satan, yeah. you believe in one God. Because I don't believe in one God, yeah, yeah, yeah. then he's also Muslim in a sense. Yeah. So that's what they're Muslim. But if someone comes here and preaches the idea of like, a, we are the best, yes. that's, that's yeah. wrong. Yeah. Because that's what, God, that's what God says. Justice is better than being the faithful. Being what? Being faithful. Justice. Okay. So as long as you believe in the idea of one God, as you said, like a message to everyone, like unification, that's it. Yeah, that's like, it's not like we are the better, no, no one is better than each other. We are all, we're all learning, we're, we're all, all idiots. idiots. We're all idiots. But yeah. everyone thinks that they're less of an idiot than everyone else. So it's like, no, we're all idiots, we're all still learning. It's a journey. If you want to get to the crux of this, you can talk about that Chill. These people are. Yeah, 
conversation. He, he still believes in this. These people still believe in this. So I'm asking you, what makes you believe in this? Again, it's this, you see? Do you understand? Okay, you told, you had a freedom. Okay, you, one moment. So you say saying freedom. So what made you to choose this then? What made you to choose this? Listen, sir. Listen. 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 It's irrelevant. It's called... Look, what, oh yeah, this is life, isn't it? What made you to choose this? Out of all these books, what made you to choose this? Oh, there you go, you see? Which one do you believe most? It's okay, people are allowed to believe anything. Which one do you believe? People believe in the two fairies, fine. I have, I, what sort of thing is it? I don't know, you know. You're not going to go to the little kid and say, prove the two fairies real. You're just going to go, okay, cool, if it makes you happy, it makes you happy. As long as you're a good person. No, it's not the same. Just try and You make a claim. Anybody makes claim? Is this the word of Allah? Is this the word of Allah? Yes? How do you know? Listen, you just made a claim. Listen to me. You said this is the word of Allah, yes? How do you know? I know, I know. I'm illiterate. When I say you're illiterate, believe me, I'm telling the truth. Illiterate does not mean you can't read or write. It means you have low EQ. No, but then do you make the claims here? That's why I come here. I'm, I'm trying to, if you listen. Is this the word of Allah? Sorry, guys, I'm just going to get out of your way so you can have this conversation. Why would you say yes? Tell me what. I'm just going to get out of your way so you can have that conversation. I'll move over here. Do you guys want to have a point? No, 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 what's the point? That's the conversation. No, you're a traveler. You know what traveler is? No, a traveler. Do you know what traveler is? So for those of you who are watching, my name is Wendell Daniel and welcome to Street Mike and the person who is in front of the camera, his name is The Big Nose and in a few moments I will be having a dialogue with the big nose but in my opinion the big nose has mental health issues and i'm going to be challenging him very soon so i believe the big nose has mental health issues no, no, he is not farming that. But you are earlier than the old. No, 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 no
Let me put this one here. You can you can put your microphone on as well. I'm saying, will you give me the cut of the discussion you're going to have? No, get someone to do it for you. Because we're going to have a good argument. No, sir, but you haven't written. I need no. Don't. Sir, let's let's have a discussion. You are scared to engage with street no, Mike. You come down here every week, giving it large, and now you are scared to engage with me. Why are you scared to engage with me? Sir, you have not replied in writing officially. I do not have to rely on re reply to you because I believe you are mad and you have mental health issues and now I'm going to engage with you. Are you going to engage with me? Yes or no? This madman, I'm going to tell people, this madman has written to me and in writing to me he has clearly demonstrated that you are mad and you should be sectioned under the Mental Health Act. What do you have to say to that the big nose i believe you are mad and just like people in the chat have said yeah, that you i don't think you're the one who need a solicitor because i believe you're mad yes am i right put your mic put your camera on i'm doing this so you have evidence and i'm going to repeat it again and i'm going to ask the people in the chat to engage with you i believe mr big nose you are mad i believe you have mental health issues mr big nose i believe you should be sectioned under the mental health act to protect people so what do you have to say are you not mad Mr. Big Nose, yes or no? Well, what is madness? Okay, define your madness. A man who comes, I'll define madness, yeah. A man who comes to speak his corner with a beard, with a, with a big nose, with a hat, trying to hide their identity. That is madness. No, but I'm describing you. You ask me to describe what is madness. No, and I'm describing you. Degree of mental health. Sorry, that doesn't come. Look, I was drawing my hand and a friendship with you to build it up. All you have. I don't want to be friends. What do you I want to what? challenge you because you're mad. Okay, you say so. Okay, you have your evidence. Are you not mad? My evidence is how you behave here at Speaker's Corner every week, and I'm challenging you to report me. Sir, listen to this. We're listening. Could you kindly tell me what happened to my letter? You, as a gentleman, promised me, as a journalist, uh, an impartial journalist, that you would reply. What happened to it? Why haven't you replied? Right.